Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a colorful accent. I already have my main composition prepared, I have an image of a tower and I just masked out the tower on its own to make this tutorial as short as possible. So let's create a new composition, it's 400 by 400 and let's rename it to accent and then let's create a new shape layer. I'm gonna be doing this with an ellipse but you can make this work with pretty much any shape that you like. I'm gonna change the size of it to 200 and I'm also going to add a stroke. I'm gonna set the width to 25 and then I'm going to add trim paths. So let's open trim paths and let's create a first set of keyframes. Let's set both of these values to 50. Then add the 15th frame, let's set them back to 100 and 0 and so far we made this. Then let's set an offset keyframe and basically that offsets these two values as you can see and then let's move one frame forwards and let's set it to 180 and then let's create a second set of keyframes and let's move 15 frames forwards we're gonna press shift and page down to move 10 frames forwards and then we're going to press page down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times and we're gonna set these back to 50 and so far we have this. Let's select all of these 8 keyframes and let's hit F9 to easy ease them and then let's open the graph editor. If I right click I need to make sure that I'm editing the speed graph in order for this to work and then let's make these look like this. Now we need to adjust them to make a ramp like this and then we need to do the same thing with these. And after we are done, if I preview this, this is what we made so far. Now let's create a new solid it doesn't matter what color you use. Let's place it beneath this shape layer and let's set the track mat to alpha mat. Right now, this stroke will be whatever is on this solid. So let's search for four color gradient and let's apply it to the solid. And now we need to change this up a bit. I'm gonna set this to white and then I'm going to change this to red and then just play with these until you get a look that you like. I guess I'm gonna be using this, okay. And now let's go back into the main composition and let's place this comp inside of it. And right now let's search for an effect which is called linear wipe. I'm gonna be doing the same thing that I did in my previous tutorial. So let's apply this to the accent composition and then let's set the transition completion to 50. Then let's set the wipe angle to 0 and right now let's duplicate this composition and let's just invert the wipe angle so that it is opposite. Now place this beneath the tower and as you can see we have our 2.5 D accent. So now let's just parent this and then let's adjust the position like that. And if I play this, you can see that we're done. You can do this with text or with an image. It's all up to you. That's it for this tutorial. For more tutorials, please check out my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.